Hello friends, welcome once again to my game room. I'm David McCord and uh, this week we go back to Korea and uh, we're looking at a little game there that's called Nyout. Uh, Nyout is a race game, hence the little horse on the cover. And uh, this one can be played by two to four players. Each player has a team of four horses and your objective is to win the race. Uh, but there's some shortcuts and there's some clever play there. Now the game was first introduced to Western audiences by the famous American game historian uh, Stuart Coolen in 1895 and uh, it hasn't really been popular since then but it definitely influenced a lot of games since, a uh, little race game since. You can see some similarities in that round track and so on. The game is also found played on a square configuration called Yut or Yut Nori. This is generally a two-player game, but the rules are essentially the same as Nyout. Yut is often played by partners, and it's a traditional game during the New Year celebration. In a remarkable case of parallel development, Stuart Coolen also documented a game played by the Indians of the American Southwest. This game has many names depending on the tribe or the region. The racetrack pattern has more spaces around the track than Nyout, and no shortcuts. The number of horses and casting sticks varies, and in some versions the players cooperate as partners, alternating turns with the other teams. Now, the game of Nyout can also be played as a gambling game. Uh, of course, it's easy to bet on a horse race. I think that's the, the substance of that aspect. Take a look at the rules, and uh, we'll come back and summarize afterwards. Nyout is a straightforward race game in which each player has a team of four horses. And to win, all four horses need to enter the race at the north point and travel anticlockwise around the track and then off again at the north point. If, however, a horse should begin a turn at west, south, or east points, they can travel along the four shortcuts on the track to reach the finish line. The movement is determined by the toss of four coins. Each heads-up result is one move around the track. And if all four are tails, the result is a five count move. And if a player tosses four or five, they can take another turn. If this move results in landing on a space occupied by another player's peg, that peg is removed from the track and that horse must start the race again. If a move would land a player's horse on the same space as one of their own, this move cannot be made and another must be chosen. The traditional game includes a herd rule. If a horse ends its movement on the same space as another of the same player's horses, the pair of horses can move around the track together. This is hard to do in the peg version of the game, so this rule can be ignored without making the game any less enjoyable. So the first player to get all four horses off the end of the track will win the race. The game is traditionally played with uh, casting stones or, ca or sticks. Um, colored on either side. Uh, essentially they're two-sided dice, which is the same as a coin, and that's why we use coins in this particular version of the game. The game can easily be played with six-sided dice, ignoring a couple of numbers. Several different ways that you can do that. We encourage you to check out Nye Out at uh, redhentoys.com, uh, one of the Peg Pastime series that we offer. But please subscribe to the YouTube channel here if you haven't already. Uh, be sure and click the little bell and we'll uh, let you know when a new episode comes out. And uh, watch for more episodes in the future in which we will delve into more game information, um, game mechanics, ancient and modern. And so, in the meantime, like I always say, be sure to play every day.